What's up guys, Don D605 here and welcome back to another video. Today is another tutorial for you guys and I'm going to show you guys how you can properly jailbreak your console on the 4.91 firmware using the BG tool set. Now, a lot of you guys have been confused with uh, the 4.91 firmware at the, uh, from the last couple four days. So, uh, and that's because the tools weren't really updated to use the custom firmware normally if you were on like official firmware. So, I decided to return my uh, console to stock for official firmware so you, I can get on with this tutorial. Now, keep in mind, there's a couple things I should note here. So one, you have to have a certain model in, in the firm, a program firmware. So if you have, let's say, a fat model, which is usually Keck L, or is in this case scenario, for example, you would uh, be able to continue on this. Uh, you'll be able to continue on this tutorial. If you have a slim model, some you may be able to. Uh, con you may not be able to confirm. Uh, continue on with the tutorial. Some maybe it might be able to take custom firmware. It's like 50-50, uh, but some might not be able to com continue. And if you have, and if you have a super slam, um, yeah, you're not gonna be able to continue with this tutorial because it do cannot take custom firmware. However, all is not lost because hen works for all models at this point. So there you go. If you want to check out my 4.90 hen tutorial video, go ahead and check that out. And uh, also, I'll see you guys when I, I get updated video on that as well, too. Maybe uh, if I return to stock firmware again someday. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the tutorial. For this instance, you're going to need a USB stick, a uh, PC that can read and write files, and a uh, PlayStation 3, obviously. So, what you want to uh, want is your PS3 connected to the internet, and also you want to go into, for, just to make sure things go right, you want to go into system settings, go into automatic update, and make sure those are off. You don't want your console uh, being uh, uh, overridden by a uh, automatic official firmware. And you can also um, go into system information and check your firmware. I should probably blur out some of this stuff later on. Um, but yeah. So, um, that should do it. And then also for a um, quality of life update uh, fix, I recommend um, going into, I ah, forget it. Well, well, well actually, no. The, what display, display settings, okay. No, it's not. Okay, hey, where was that? Is it is also in system settings? Yes, display what's new. You want to make sure this is off since it's not really a thing anymore. So, you can turn that off at this point. So, now, let's get started. Let's check the download progress for that. Okay, so what you want to do is... Hold on a second. Okay, so go to confirm browser close, make sure that's off. Go to JavaScript, make sure that's on. We need to go to cookies, make sure it's on block. Go to home page. Well first go to cook let's first go to cookies and then delete. And then go to delete search history, yes. Go back to tools and then go to delete cache. And then we need one more thing. We need to go back and delete of the authentication history or information, whatever. Authentication information. Okay. Then go to tools and then home page. Then go to use blank. And then press OK. Now, um, should be able to go back out of it. And then once you're done, go back into the internet browser. Well, let's see. File address entry. Now let's now search up P S three tool 
subnet dot com. Okay, give it a moment. Okay. Oh. Okay, well apparently my internet connection wasn't successful on that. Yeah, you do need to be connected to the internet to do this. Maybe a lot of I don't know. You want to run and install the plugin. You always want to hit yeah, yes. I want to see this thing. Okay, this is good. Then press OK. Then you want to go into System Manager. A green check mark that means that your thing is actually compatible. So that means we can proceed with this tutorial. I'm going to insert my USB stick. Make sure to have your USB stick inserted into the um um the console before doing it. So we're gonna flash the memory, save flash memory backup. Dead USB USB zero 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 is what you want to do. Okay. And then click save. So let it do its thing and it should take shouldn't take too long. Dump process successful. Then go ahead and close that. We're gonna go into the computer just so we can do something here. Now, as I was saying, and once you dumped your uh, dump in the uh, bin, and it should be in your USB drive, the root of it. So you're gonna want to place this somewhere safe. Keep it somewhere in case your console does get break, you can bring it to a backup. So go to the PS Pi PS3 checker. You're gonna want to control V it and then control C it and then control V it into here. And then you're gonna want to drag it and drop it into here. Two warnings. Hmm. RS1 hash.
Now, if you do think you can actually proceed with this, okay. But, however, I'm not going to proceed with this. I'm just going to... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, show you how to fix this error. So, what you want to do is go to the hybrid firmware in PSX Place. Updating from 4.98 hybrid firmware to 4.91 custom firmware. Okay, so even it even says that you need to update from hybrid firmware to custom firmware. So that's what we're gonna do. Then you go ahead and click there. Keep, keep anyway. I have a firmware of that dot pop. Since I already have it downloaded, I think. the PS3 folder and an update. to the console and install this firmware. Okay, maybe I need to uh, change the name to uh, PS3 update.pop. instead of the default name, because that probably makes sense. That's better. Don't forget the name was changed on PS3's uh, hybrid firmware, so you gotta change the uh, uh, names for, from hybrid firmware four underscore four point nine one to PS3 update dot pop. Make sure it's just that. Then it'll say four point nine one dot one hybrid firmware ex hybrid and exploitable. You wanna make sure that you install this twice. Okay, I, will, I know this sounds a little nutty, but you might, I recommend actually, uh, I require, think you might want to try uh, updating to that same firmware a second time. This is very important because uh, the firmware will not work properly unless you install it a second time. So this is, you're going to see why. It's, you're going to see why. 
It's just for trust the process and go with it. It's called ROS uh, headers. So we'll get to that in a second. By the way, if you get to this screen and some things don't seem right, I highly recommend retrying it uh, from the, uh, the very last point on and try again. So see what happens then. And now you have properly have Hydra firmware installed. So now we can try again on flashing our memory. Once again, go back. Once again, go back to the uh, internet browser. And uh, use the bookmark uh, that you had, which is ps3oldstat.com. Once again, run the plugin. Okay. Then hit OK. Then go back to System Manager. Once again, flash memory. Save memory backup. Dev USB 000. And go ahead and save that. Well, we'll just overwrite this because we're making a new one. Then go ahead and hit close. Now let's move over to the computer and make sure we fix the errors. Go ahead and plug your computer the USB into your computer one last time. We're going to double check PS3 Pi Checker one more time. Let me, let me do it. And now let's drag and drop that in there. And it still says two warnings. Knowing that I'm going to take knowing my risks, since my friend, but I know that my friend Gage got through this no problem, so I just going to be positive. So we're going to proceed. Because I taught Gage how to jailbreak his console using my method, so we're going to do that. Oh, that's my camera. 
I need that. I need that. So now what you want to do is, is you want to go to flash memory patch and then you want to load the patch via HTTP. Once it says uh, validated, go ahead and uh, hit close. Then once now you should be ready to go back into the flash memory patch and then go to apply loaded patch. This is beyond no return. So once you do this, you cannot cut power. You cannot stop the system. You cannot even touch the controller. And I recommend not even doing anything at this point. So because it says patching the flat PSP flash memory can break your console. It should never be done casually. There's no way to pause the, or cancel the patching process beyond this confirmation dollar. Are you sure you want to continue? Once you know the dangers and risks, go ahead and press yes. And now I now just put down your controller and not even do anything. Just let it do its thing. You can reboot your console now. So now that we're done, we're gonna have to reboot our console. So now, go ahead and hit close when you're done. Exit out of the uh, home, uh, the internet browser, and go ahead and power off. Now, your console can be jailbroken now. So, let's get to it, shall we? And now, once you've gotten the custom firmware from the PSX Place uh, website, which I'll have in the description for you guys, put the USB stick in the rightmost USB port, and then go to System Update. It says 4.91 Evil Nat Cat. Go ahead and press OK. It'll give you a user agreement. You can read it if you want and press accept. And hit start. Once it hits a certain point, it's going to install the stuff needed to jailbreak your console, which is a custom firmware. If it reboots, that's usually good, as long as everything is done correctly. Okay, checking for update data. If you get to this point, you're good to go. At least I hope so. And welcome back to custom firmware. Pretty sure all my stuff was reinstated from before, I'm thinking. So you got a couple of new options here now. So as usual, we got this stuff and sign in. 
you got your usual uh, home wraps if you install them beforehand. But what you also got is a package manager. See, a package manager allows you to install like homebrew apps and stuff like that from your USB drive. That's for the packaging directory for the storage device. And also, if you the storage, you can install stuff from there if you did some on your like a multi man or something. And then this is just for uh, installing games and for that kind of content. You can also delete packages off your uh, USB stick if you don't want them anymore. You can also go to Webman. There's a lot of stuff for this kind of, there's a lot of possibilities. But thanks guys for watching this video. And uh, if you have, find this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.